The combined latest operator combines multiple observables into one observer. It will emit every single time one of the source observables emits, but only after all of the source observables have emitted at least one time. So the combined latest operator is very powerful, but we have to be aware of some common pitfalls. In this video, we will cover how to use the combined latest operator, some the common pitfalls with the combined latest operator, and we will see two real world examples using the combined latest operator. So the combined latest operator accepts an array of source observables and it returns a new observable calculated based on the latest values of each of those source observables. That doesn't sound too hard, does it? Well, there are a few things we have to keep in mind. The first one is all of the source observables need to have emitted at one time before the combined latest operator starts emitting. Every time a new value is pushed to one of the source observables, the whole combined latest will be recalculated. This can cause a lot of emissions and we should deal with this carefully. Most of the time you will only want to use multiple long-lived observables. So what are the pitfalls when using combined latest? When one of the source observables of the combined latest throws an error, then the whole combined latest observable completes. Combined latest can also make our code really complex really fast, especially when we start combining multiple combined latest observables into another one. So now we know how combined latest works and what we should be aware of, let's cover our real world examples. Let's say that we have a component that fetches data from multiple sources and that it has to combine this data to enrich the data from each other. I have prepared a little example. So we have a combined latest component which fetches data from a role service and from a user service and it combines these two, two uh, user objects with the full role object in it. So we have a type of user which has a username and a role ID, which is a reference to the role. And then we have the type role which has an ID and the name. Then our role service and user service provide a get all method which provides a, an array of responsible objects. How we can use the combined latest operator in this case is we just pass in an array of the to source observables, which will be the get all users in this case, and the get all roles in this case. And we also add a start with operator to both of these source observables, so they emit for the first time. If we won't do this, even, even if we put the start with operator on one of the source observables, then it won't start emitting as well because all of the source observables in the combined latest have to emit at least once. And then it's actually pretty simple. So we use the map operator, which takes in an array of users and roles, which is in the same order that we put them in the source observable array. And then we just map the respective role to the correct user. And then the result is a enriched user object, which now has the username, the role ID, and also the full role object. We can also create a completely reactive type ahead with a combined latest operator. I've prepared a little example where we have an input, our search input, and then a list of filtered users. So here we declare two source observables, the users, which is it basically all of the users and we add a start with to the initial emission and then a search term observable which basically the value changes of the search input and we also provide a start with with an empty string in here for the first emission if we don't provide the start with operators on the users observable or on a search term observable, 
the combined latest operator will not emit immediately. And then just as before, we use a combined latest operator and we pass in an array of the user's observable and the search term observable. And then, in, and then we can add the pipe operator. And in the pipe operator, we put the map. And the map takes in the array just in the same order as we put the source observables in. So first the users and then the search term. And then we just filter the users based on the search term. But we can even optimize this a little bit with the distinct until changed operator. In an ideal world, you would add the distinct until changed operator to all of your source observables like this. If you want to learn more about the distinct until changed operator, I have also created a video about that. What a distinct until changed operator basically is going to do here is it will prevent duplicate emissions. That's all I got to say about the combined latest operator. I have also created a blog post about the combined latest operator. I will put a link in the description. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next one. Bye.